So today, I'm going to do a simple RPCS3 settings video, the best settings you can have till this day. And basically, the first thing you want to do is join my Discord that's linked below because you need to download a certain RPCS3 version in order to play this game without any bugs or any audio issues. Usually, if you have your frames per second at like 60 or 30, your audio will like really sound really weird and if you have that issue then turn your frames to infinite but yeah the only requirement you really need is the rpcs3 like the certain version um rpcs3 updates like every single day when they update rpcs3 there will be new bugs for skate so this version of rpcs3 is gonna be the best for you and it has no bugs that's what i'm running on so yeah i hope this video helps you boys and also it's if you can see, I'm skating the Skate 2 map. If you want to learn how to do that, you can find the video on my channel. And I also, there are settings on that video, but I don't recommend those settings anymore because those were old settings, but yeah. So if you've never done custom settings before, you want to go to RPCS3, of course, and you want to right click it and it should say create custom configuration. You wanna click that. For me, it's gonna say change custom configuration because I already have one, but you want your PPU decoder to be recompiler, SPU decoder to be recompiler as well, SPU xflow accuracy, approximate xflow, additional settings, have this turned on, and then max power saving CPU, you want that at zero. SPU block size, safe, preferred SPU threads, auto, thread scheduler operating system so that's all for cpu and for gpu i run vulcan you want to keep this this is important you want to keep this at 1280 by 720 you do not want to change it to 19 unless your pc can run it but i highly doubt it it'll make it run really really wonky but your frame limit i have mine at infinite usually i don't know why it's at ps3 mine's at infinite because of the audio glitches filter at auto allyzing disabled Accuracy, relaxed, fastest, shader quality at low, resolution scale. This is where you need to change it. Usually it's at 100 by default and you want to change it to 150 or if your PC is good enough, you could have it running at 4K. Want async to be on, number of shader, compiler threads, auto, additional settings. You want right color buffers on and vsync turned on as well. Output scaling nearest sharpening strength at 50%. Audio, I don't think there's anything different in here. Maybe enable buffering if you don't have that turned on, but I don't think you change anything in here. Here's all my settings though if you need them. IO, keep this the same. System, keep that the same. Network, there's no online for this game sadly. So for advanced, you want your V-Blink frequency to be 240 Hz or around like 160 ish i have mine at 240 at all times and it runs so smooth but yeah that's it simple as that my rpc has three settings um i hope it helps you boys out if it doesn't like i said join the discord ask for help if you need and a lot of people will ask me in my discord like yo my controller is not working in order to get your controller to work if you're running on xbox you want to go to pads where i just went but if you're running xbox you want to use XI input or MM joystick. I think it's MM joystick, I believe. But for PS5, like I'm using, or PS4, you want to go to DualShock 4. But for PS5, you want to go to DualSense and move your sticks around. And at the bottom right there, it should be moving around. And that's a sign that your controller is working. So that's how to get your controller to work. And that's my RPCS3 settings, boys. I hope this video helped you out. And I hope you guys have a good day.